Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome to the August meeting of StopTrump.org. The good news is invitations are already out for the next big event. That, of course, is the Mitt Romney Family Labor Day Picnic, where they're sure to discuss the snafu and failure of their convention doomsday plan. You know the plan, where they hire Steve Harvey to host the convention, and regardless of who won, they were going to announce W as the candidate. Hey, don't laugh. This has happened before. Just ask President Al Gore. And you know, Trump's success should surprise no one. After all, he told us he'd be winning. Winning so much that America would get sick of it. Well, he was right for once. Here's one American who's completely sick and tired of Donald Trump winning. And I hate it after he wins and does the victory lap and then holds up his trophy wife, Malaria. I know her name is not Malaria. I confused her with his second wife, Gonorrhea. And you know, I get confused. Is she Melania from Slovenia or Slovenia from Melania? Well, anyway, she knows the magic words to Donald's heart. You buy me new tits. I marry you. And the convention was great. What a family affair the Republican convention was for Trump. All his kids from his three previous marriages were there. Ivanka, of course, who Donald calls his pride and joy and hard-on inducer. And his two sons, Uday and Brill Cream. Tiffany was there. And little Donald Barron had to come because apparently none of the Fox News anchor women were available to babysit. Donald Jr., put down his rifle and stopped hunting long enough to speak at the convention. Beforehand, he went backstage, met the entire Trump team. Mike Pence, Newt Gingrich. There was a little problem when he met Chris Christie. He pushed him down, took a selfie, and said, Hey, Dad, look, I bagged an elephant. And what a contrast the two conventions were. Celebrities at both conventions... The Democrats had American acting legend Meryl Streep. And the Republicans had American acting trivial pursuit question Scott Bio. Miss Streep spoke eloquently and convinced the crowd about Hillary's honesty and that she broke no laws. And for that, they gave her another Academy Award. Scott Bio spoke about who gives a crap what Scott Bio spoke about? And now that it's general election time, Trump is trying to pivot, softening some of his positions. Take immigration, for example. He no longer is saying that he's going to have a ban on all Muslims traveling to the United States. He says that was just a suggestion. Yeah, right in the same way that the Germans called the Holocaust a save-the-date. And he's been very tough on his opponent, crooked Hillary Clinton, and her fundraising, corruption, he calls it. You know, he told us during the Republican debates that he donated $250,000 to the CGI. Asked what did he get for it? Trump said he told him to come to his wedding, and they did. You know, it turns out there's a whole menu of things you can get from the CGI for a donation. For $500,000, you can help eradicate the Ebola virus and get a commitment that Bill will not hire your daughter as an intern. And in the end all, wouldn't it have been great if the Democrats could have combined the best traits of all their candidates? Bernie's chutzpah, Joe Biden's hair plugs, and, of course, Hillary's big brass balls, they'd have, well, wait a minute, that would be Donald Trump. That's my time, folks. Thank you. I'm Phil Gordon.